Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the final debates of season one of The Debaters. These are the final four who will be fighting for the coveted title of The Debater of the Year. So who is it going to be? As our darling Super Eagles prepare for another campaign in next year's World Cup in South Africa, our final four debaters will be arguing the motion. Football administration in Nigeria, failure or not. Today's formation is Oluwa Toimbo for the motion and your opponent is Damilola going against. Let the final showdown begin. Panel of judges, ladies and gentlemen, good day. I want to start by saying that maintenance is not the job of the Football Federation. It is the job of the federal government in collaboration with the Nigeria Sports Council. Now, my opponent and I have something in common. We both agree that football in Nigeria is in problem. What we do not agree on, however, is that these challenges are as a result of failure of administration. Let us put the spotlight on football budget in Nigeria. For, 2000, for 2010, the budget for the Nigerian League is 1 billion Naira. Now, compare this with Real Madrid's transfer budget for Cristiano Ronaldo alone, which is 80 million pounds. We can now begin to understand the reason why Nigeria's league is not popular. Let us move on to the issue of autonomy. All over the world, football is organized as a private enterprise. But what do we have in Nigeria? A situation where the federal government meddles with football under the instrumentality of a National Assembly Act. But I'm willing and I'm happy to inform you that in spite of these challenges, Nigeria football is doing well for itself. Nigeria has successfully hosted two world championships out of the five that have ever come to Africa. In fact, the under-17 championship that Nigeria recently hosted was reported as a success. By the, NF, NF, by the FIFA chairman himself. This goes to show that it is too early for us to decide that football administration in Nigeria is a failure. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you very much, Talkmates. It's time for cross-examination. Hi, Damanola. Nice to see you again. You mentioned in your argument that um, only 20% of the money allocated to the uh, administration of football actually gets there. What happens to the actual 80%? What happens most of the time is that when this money is allocated to, to, the, to the league or to the federation, most of the time it gets lost in the long line of bureaucracy because one person wants to take their own part, the other person wants to take their own part. So at the end of the day, we find out that these players get paid as low, as our local league players now, they get paid as low as 20,000 naira monthly. 